What's going on, everyone? Joshua Cook, Vibe Media, here with freshman Montana Wheeler of Houston Christian, who, uh, man, Montana, you had yourself a game earlier this week against Audi. 16 points, 12 assists, 10 rebounds, a school record 10 steals, and 12 assists. I think I said the 12 assists. I don't know. You had a quadruple double, the first ever in Houston Christian history. When did you figure out that you had made history for the Mustangs? Uh, going in, when we was in halftime, uh, my dad pulled me aside and he told me that, you know, I was on track to get it. But, you know, as a point guard, you're really not thinking about the stats, you know, the flow of the game. You're just trying to, you know, get everybody involved and make the right decision. But during halftime, my dad told me that, you know, I was on the triple, uh, quadruple double rock. I, I wasn't really playing for it, but I knew if I did it, it would have been history. And that's what I did. What was it like for you as you sat back after the game, the quadruple double? How did that feel? No, it was an amazing feeling. You know, after the game, uh, me and my teammates, we kind of celebrated a little bit with, you know, a couple uh, couple bottles of water. But it was an amazing feeling. But I credit everything to my team. You know, without them, you know, none of that would have been possible. You know, they, they put me in the, in the right position. And uh, they encouraged me, they empowered me, and they made shots for me in order to get that 12 assist. So all credit goes to them. So, you know, we know that, you know, you're you're the younger brother of Severe Wheeler who came through Houston Christian. Now you've kind of started to make your own name. Is, is that challenging at all, like coming into the program, knowing, you know, everything your brother did and not try not to play in his shadow, but kind of create your own path? Um, I wouldn't say challenging, but, you know, it's a lot of high expectations. I've been dealing with high expectations since I started playing basketball. You know, being a younger brother of Siberia, there's, there's ultimately going to have a uh, high level of standards because of who he is as a player and as a person. So, no, I'm not, I don't really try to, you know, get too much to in, co- in comparison with me and him, but I know there's a certain level of uh, high expectations when it comes to being a younger brother of his. So, for you, you're in your freshman season. I mean, going from playing like in middle school to playing high school ball is completely different. It's a completely different game. How have you come along as far as with the speed of the game and just adjusting to playing, you know, high school ball? I feel like I've adjusted really good. You know, in this in the summer, I didn't really play much of AAU. You know, I, I trained and um, when I was training, I was training with straight college players, you know, such as Noah Khan, uh, Xavier, my brother. LJ, um, Miller Cop, and Cam Augusti. So those guys really, they helped me. And, you know, I got used to playing faster and with, with stronger people uh, due to them. So transitioning from middle school and high school, you know, it, was, it wasn't it was much of a transition to me. So, you know, we talked about your brother a lot with this, and, you know, Severe. What did you learn from him? Just watching him play in high school and then what, he, you know, what he went on to do at Georgia and now he, what he's doing at Kentucky. What have you learned from him watching him play the game? I would just say his poise, you know, on every possession, he never seems to be, you know, out of control. He's always in command of the game. You know, that's something I try to take after, like always staying in, always staying in control of the game, you know, keeping command. And also he's done like the greatest, the greatest I've ever seen, just empowering his teammates, how his teammates are willing, you know, to go to war for him. And, you know, they have his back on every, every single possession and they're, like it's it's almost like they letting him down if you know things are gonna go right, and then that's the only only person I've ever seen that can have that type of impact on people. So so being younger brother, I know brothers are competitive. Yeah. Are you when you got up there to Houston Christian? Did you look at what his points record is and rebounds and assists and championships and kind of go, okay, these are the marks. Like, can I? Can I beat these in my four years? Like, I mean, there's gonna be some competitiveness, right? Yeah, no, it, it was for sure. You know, but I have four years. I'm not. I'm not worried about that. In my freshman season, but you know, going going into this year, I for sure we for sure had conversations about you know possibly me breaking his records. But you know, he's he's probably one of the best, the the, the best player in Houston Christian history. So I, I don't really you know feeding too much into that. Not my freshman year, at least. What what's you and Severe's like relationship like? Y'all get on the phone and Facetime and talk basketball, or is it mainly just kind of like just talking life and stuff as as big brother little brother? No, me and him we have a a, a very tight relationship. We can talk about anything together. 
when it comes to shoes, cars, basketball, you know, anything. I just, we just love having each other's company. And that's something, you know, can't really ask for for a lot, especially, you know, Saviria, who he is as a person. And, but the relationship is tight. You know, I feel like I, I don't have that relationship with anybody else. And th that's the relationship that I cherish the most. And it's also neat. I mean, your dad is is on staff there at uh, Houston Christian. What what's that like to have dad right there with you? Just you know, just like he was for Savir, right there with you as you go on this high school journey. You know, it, it's amazing. I, I I view my dad as probably the best coach I've I've ever seen, and you know his his knowledge of the game and his willingness to to do whatever uh, for the team is, is is something that I try to take after. And you know, it's for sure challenging. You know, in practice, he doesn't treat me. He doesn't treat me any different than he treats the other players. So, you know, him, him constantly being, you know, on me about doing the right thing and playing the right way is something that I truly cherish about him. And then finally, before we let you go, I know <laughs> kind of midway through the season, SPC play is heating up now. Um, as you try to lead this team to an SPC championship, what does this group need to do to get to that, ultimate end goal of winning an SBC title? Um, you know, from where we was at the start of the season to now, you know, it, it's been a truly a, a big transition. You know, we just got to keep on getting better, you know, taking it game by game. I wouldn't say anything specific because, you know, there's always something you can work on. But from where this team was in November to where we are in, in January, you know, it's two completely different teams. All right, well, he is Montana Wheeler. Just recorded the first ever quadruple double in Houston Christian history. He's a freshman for the Mustangs. Montana, man, congrats on the great game. Congrats on the great season thus far. Um, great catching up with you, and can't wait to see what you do the rest of the way down the road. And, uh, and I know Severe is probably watching from a distance as he's taking care of business up there in Kentucky. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, Mr. Cook.